What's up, guys? Your boy Rex Pond, the beach, your number one producer. I'm here again with another tutorial section with my guys, my people, it's lab. And you were talking about one of the songs from Malian Music featuring C Black, Mobad, and Nara Mali, you know, Tido Lobo. Make sure you guys a quick breakdown of how I made that heavy, heavy jam. <laughs> So let's start with the intro first, guys. The intro standing like this. So that was the intro. So let's visit each sound one after the other. So that was the first sound I added to this beat. So this sound was from Purity. Purity. It's called um, May of Violin. Sounds like this. So when I added the sound, there you go, signature. So when I added the sound, I just kept building on it, kept building. I let this sound support it. So, I'm placing solo for you. The sound that was also from Purity. It's a Picasso sound. Then moving on, I added this a pad, pad sign like this alone. So together. First, I added the roll there. This was rolls. It was has a, a reverb, a reverb snare, kind of like this. Together, sound like this. So that was it. That was just good intro. That was the intro. Apart from that, I had a transition effect. You just go from down to the chorus. So then to the the chorus, to the, there's no actual chorus in this song because the song was just a vibe. So I went to the next stage of the beat, sound like this. So I was just playing what I played from the intro. I just added drums to it so let I me mean, just play the drums one after the other so you know how i built the vibe so there's a clap there then i added, added a, a shaker my kick kick 
it just went boom, 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 boom. So that was the kick. So I had this percussion too. In every 4-4 four, four beat. So that was basically what I added. Then to make it sound different from the intro, I doubled, I duplicated this sound on the intro. This one, I've told you about the sound before. So now I duplicated it and increased the octave. So I just have more full presence. simple straightforward the beat is already done so the next stage i tried to change the kick made it more continuous instead of one 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 it was not like running yeah so I just, what I did there was just make the beats run, the kick run. Then I added this synth from Massive. It's called Call Drain. Let me play for you guys so you know what to sound like a little bit. I can't lie, I don't know what that sound is because I was just <laughs> I was just vibing and it sounded nice in my ear and it actually sounded nice in the beat. So, so now at this point I had a particular a particular percussion to it to give him one bounce. I can't find it right now. I'm going to look for it for you guys. So I'll play one after the other. So this is the key, this is the, this is the sound here. Yeah? It's like 808. Just going like so that was basically the sound to the point where when I was like only fifty golly. There I just meet all the sounds and just left that present sound, that main sound, the bang, 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 bang. And from there, just continue vibing. Yeah, from here, I just added an effect, an automation to that main sound I was talking about using gross beats. I'm sure you guys are coming with gross beats. Gross beats on FL Studio. So. I'm playing for you guys. You know gross beats, this is gross beats. So I added an effect, selected one of the presets there, and this is what it sounded like when I added gross beats to that sound. This is, sound without, this is, this is the same sound without gross beats. So we 
with gross beat now. So, so from there, I just added it, and the middle of the song, I added that synth again, the cauldron synth again. So I just grease that blend, that arrangement where one sound goes off, comes on again, one sound goes off, comes on again. But well, basically, guys, that was really almost everything I did on this beat. I didn't stress myself. It was straightforward, as you can see. No much, plenty, plenty, plenty story. <laughs> So for this part, as you know about the beat where it came down again, and I added a particular bass from Sub Boom Bass and played for you. So the best, the best of the song sounded like this. Very simple. Boom bam. Boom bam. Boom bam. So very straightforward. I didn't want it to sound too much because the beat was already bouncy. So the bass just comes in like mm, boom, mm, boom, 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 mm, boom, again. So playing everything together. <laughs> Basically, guys, every break was the same. Was the same role. I'll just mute the beats and make the break sound more heavier. This beat was not really stressful. It was a freestyle. The artist was just bouncing on it. I was just adding different sounds to make it more interesting to not get too boring to, to your ears again so that was basically everything i did on this song no much plenty plenty it's just that copy and paste as you can see on the screen pretty good copy and paste song <laughs> So guys, that's how I just made the beat. Straightforward, very easy. As you can see, there's no secret to it. Just me vibing, making music, adding sounds, trying out sounds, making mistakes, learning from my mistakes, you know? So I hope you guys understood what I taught you guys. I hope you guys learned one or two things. I hope you guys understood the build up to how I made this beat. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends. Love you guys. Rexy loves you.